Hello everyone. In the last class, we discussed about the steps involved in construction of generator matrix and parity check matrix for a cyclic code. Today, we will discuss about syndrome polynomial. When a code word C is transmitted over a noisy channel, errors are likely to get introduced due to channel noise. Thus, the received vector R is different from the transmitted code word C. So, we can say that R equal to C plus E. For linear blow code, the first step involved in decoding is to calculate the syndrome for the received vector. If the syndrome is zero, then there is no transmission errors in the received vector. On the other hand, if the syndrome is non-zero, the received vector contains transmission errors which requires correction. Just as in the case of linear blow code, for the cyclic code also, syndrome calculation is the first step in decoding. In the case of cyclic code, let C of x be the code polynomial transmitted through the noisy channel and let R of x be the received polynomial. Then R of x and C of x are related as R of x equal to C of x plus E of x. So this is XOR addition where E of x is the error polynomial corresponding to the error pattern created by the channel noise. Let the received polynomial be a polynomial of degree n minus 1, n minus 1 or less. How? We know that R of x can be written as R0 plus R1x plus R2x square plus etc plus r n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1. So, based on the coefficients of r1, r2, etc., r n minus 1, the degree of received polynomial changes and the maximum degree of the received polynomial will be n minus 1. This n minus 1 happens only if the coefficient r, r of n, r n minus 1 will be 1. Now divide r of x by the generator polynomial g of x. r of x is divided by the generator polynomial g of x. We know that r of x has degree n minus 1. And what is the degree of generator polynomial? g of x has degree n minus k. Okay. Let q of x be the quotient and s of x be the remainder. So we can write it as r of x equal to say q of x into g of x plus s of x. So we can see that s of x is the remainder. So remainder term. Since we have divided r of x by g of x of degree n minus k, the remainder s of x will be a polynomial of degree n minus k minus 1 or less. Here, s of x is called the syndrome polynomial. It has the following interesting properties. So this is equation number one. Okay. So property number one. If S of X is a syndrome of received polynomial, then it is a syndrome of error polynomial also. Proof. Now we will prove this particular property. We know that R of X equal to C of X plus e of x, right. So, here we found like that. r of x equal to c of x plus e of x. Since uh, th this is an XOR, ad XOR addition, so we can write it as e of x equal to, this is equation number 2, e of x can be written as r of x minus c of x. Since it is uh, XOR addition, it can be written as r of x plus c of x itself. This is equation number 3. Again, equation 1 gives, we know that r of x equal to q of x g of x plus s of x. So, this is from equation 1. We know that code polynomial will be a factor of g of x. That is, c of x can be written as a of x into g of x. So, a of x is some quotient. So, this is equation number 4. 
okay so now equation 1 gives one equation 1 is this is equation number 1 r of x equal to q of x g of x plus s of x now substituting equation 4 and 1 in equation 3 now equation 3 gives equation 3 gives e of x equal to what is r of x r of x is q of x into g of x plus s of x q of x into g of x plus s of x and what is c of x c of x is a of x into g of x so this can be written as g of x into q of x plus a of x plus s of x so now i am replacing q of x plus a of x equal to u of x now e of x can be written as u of x g of x plus s of x where e of x is some constant so e of x can be written as, so this what what does this this particular equation indicates this equation indicates that if you divide e of x by the generator polynomial g of x the remainder obtained will be the s of x and the quotient obtained will be u of x so our claim is proved so what is property number one if s of x is a syndrome of received polynomial then it is a syndrome of error polynomial also so so in this equation s of x is the syndrome of received polynomial r of x here also this from this equation number five we can see that s of x is also the syndrome of error polynomial e of x and hence the proof property number two if s of x is a syndrome of received vector r of x, x into r of x will have a syndrome of x into s of x. From equation 1, proof. From equation 1, we know that r of x equal to q of x g of x plus s of x, right? Now multiply both sides with x. So that is x into r of x equal to x into q of x g of x plus x into s of x. So we know that multiplying r of x by x is equivalent to giving one right cyclic shift to r of x. Right. If we give i right cyclic shift then the resulting received vector is represented as x raised to i r of x that is if you give i right cyclic shift the resulting received vector is represented as x raised to i r of x thus we may generalize the above result and can be stated as if s of x is a syndrome polynomial of the received polynomial r of x then x raised to i s of x will be the syndrome polynomial of x raised to i r of x That is, i times right cyclic shifted version of r of x will have the syndrome equal to i times right cyclic shifted version of the syndrome s of x. Now property number 3. If the errors occur only in the parity bits of the transmitted code word, then the syndrome polynomial and error polynomial will be the same. So this is a very important property for uh, decoding. So we know that the format of the code word we considered for cyclic code is parity bits followed by message bit. So there are n minus k parity bits followed by uh, k message bits. So C can be written as so B0 we consider parity polynomial as B of x right. So this is B of x and this is C of, M of x. Now C of x equal to B0 plus B1x plus b2 x square plus etc up to there are n minus k parity bits so b n minus k minus 1 x raised to n minus k minus 1 plus then message bit starts m0 x raised to n minus k plus etc plus m k minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 now the received vector is represented as r of x equal to r0 plus 
R1 X plus R2 X square plus etc plus R N minus K minus 1 X raised to N minus K minus 1 plus R N minus K X raised to N minus K plus etc plus R N minus 1 X raised to N minus 1. Right. So we can see that up to n minus k minus 1, this is parity bits. Parity bits and these are the message bits, right? Okay. Now, if error occur in the parity bits, the error polynomial will be of degree, what will be the degree of uh, the error polynomial? The error polynomial will be of degree n minus k minus 1 or less. Right. So, we can write it as e of x equal to e0 plus e1x plus e2x square plus etc plus e n minus k minus 1 x raised to n minus k minus 1. That is maximum degree of error polynomial is n minus k minus 1 if error occur in the parity bit. Now, what happens if you divide e of x by g of x. We know that degree of error polynomial is n minus k minus 1 or less and degree of g of x is n minus k. Now what happens if uh, e of x is divided by g of x? Then we will get it as we will get the quotient as quotient equal to 0 and the remainder will be equal to be equal to e of x which is equal to s of x right so because uh, since uh, the degree of e of x is n minus k minus 1 and degree of g of x is n minus k the quotient will be 0 remainder will be equal to uh, e of x which will be equal to the syndrome so hence the proof that is if the errors occur only in the parity bits of the transmitted code word then the syndrome polynomial and error polynomial will be the same. Thank you.